<laughs> All right, we are live. Hello, today is April 15th, 2017. And I have with me Angie, Anya, Astrid, Douglas, JD, Kim, Lemonade, Leah, Mark, Alexander, and welcome uh, Jim, and welcome people in Jim's room. I have in my room Angela, uh, Barbara, and Ray, mm -hmm. Raymond. So, and it's a beautiful day here today. It's going to be 70 degrees here in the lovely New York State. Hello, everybody. Now everybody can mute except Jim, and uh, you can say hi. So today is the first um, paid webinar, and I have to apologize. We go after that mainstream money, but there is a reason the the world is changing. We are changing, and I'm really grateful to the helpers who helped in the past, to transcribers, to people who did organizing and who did uh, uh, hosting of the webinars. And we are really missing Bree. She is now somewhere doing something very important, traveling. She will be back. I think she is on a maybe Bosnia pyramid tour, Bosnian pyramid tour, but I'm not sure. But her help was 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 very valuable, and and the other people who did hosting before us. So now we started because the world is changing outside. We kind of build a club, build a community. So. When you subscribe, you, you become committed. There is a commitment, there is some sort of a border. And we, and those people who are here already paid and they or contributed otherwise, hosting or transcription or other, other things. So um, join the club and this is the link. You can still join today right now. It takes about three minutes to pay through PayPal. Can you see, I can see. Yeah, hukola.org slash club. So uh, click on that link. It will bring you to the site which is called 22s.com. And that will bring you automatically to Facebook. And there you click the button join. And then it will bring you to PayPal. You pay $10 using PayPal or a card. And then it brings you, it's all automatic. It's like one step. It just you, so you know where you are. You're, you're paying to us. So then you uh, it brings you to Facebook group, which is closed, and you click on that, and um, and then that, there you get the link. So so basically, it's a face, Facebook group based um, based membership, and I think it's just handy to to have it through Facebook. And all the discussion, so that was first announcement. Announcement. Join the club and thank you the, the ones who paid. And we have that paid membership now. And it is a commitment and it's a great help so we can uh, do simple things now. We have a little bit of money. It's uh, $10 a month, right? Uh, and um, if you can't pay, you can contribute to work. And the main need, need is now is for hosting. Thank you, Mark, and thank you, JD, for helping to host today. And thank you, those hosts who do the hosting of the webinars. Um, the, pay, the, the, the money that, that you pay or the labor which you pay contribute to, doing, to us doing the free webinars. So we do still many webinars for free. So some webinars will be for members only and some webinars will be for free so others can participate. And the membership only covers the participation. So people in the webinar who can speak and type the, here in the chat and ask questions. So that participation is, is limited to paid members. But all the webinars, the majority of the webinars is broadcasted, recorded and published for on YouTube for free. Um, so the, the, hel the helpers, we invite also transcription helpers, and it would be nice to have more of the welcome team organizers. So basically, I, I, these days I get a lot of emails, some of them for me, 
and some of them are very general so basically I have to answer like go there go to the Facebook Facebook group and um, join so that we move the discussion from the website because it was just buggy and slow we moved it to the Facebook group which is called um, Hukala um, free private private so Hukala free private Facebook group that's that's the link the, the name can you see Hukala free private join us for the discussion we discuss things there and um, a discussion is is moving forward so that's where we, we meet and discuss things put that back up again it was only you only had it up there for a second oh sorry Hukala free private higher higher Oh, so uh, higher, right? There you go. Hukula free private. Yes, thank you. And I think I will just to make it easier to find it. I will put one here, so it will be. I didn't do it yet, but it will be Hukula one. It will be group number one. Okay, Hukula one. Okay. okay. And the other one is Hukula Club is for for paid members. To to get there, you go to the other one, which is Hukula dot org slash club okay yep. so that's what paid all right and the other one is free um and the last thing is we are uh looking now choosing the location for the workshop to meet in person and it becomes very interesting and exciting so jim and i will do a workshop and we're looking at different places in the rochester buffalo area and we try to make it really um, nice and there are many options like we want nice food nice place nice nature nice transportation and um, uh, energy nice energy it looks like there are options so we are choosing that and so and the date is tentative date is early august august 3 to august 8 we will announce it soon when we finalize the location because the locations some locations are already booked so we need to play with the dates and thanks to all helpers astrid is helping a lot uh angela is helping and um, jamie from rochester is helping so with all that help we are contacting many places finding a good deal money wise and the idea is that we will meet together and do the workshop ascension workshop we'll do the work spiritual work on ascension and that includes as usual it includes channeling healing uh reiki share where we do put tables around and heal each other uh teaching classes and actual group meditations and other type of collective work which is um some enlightened enlightened work and uh, of course we will we'll do a lot of chatting and uh, just hanging together we want to do it as as, as, a, as a collective and it will be five nights yes. five nights um six days five nights five nights and um Jim, do you have any, anything to add to that workshop idea? You, yes. Um, with the um, workshop, it will be the introduction. This will be the first time Galactic Reiki will be taught. Uh, Takur is ready to present that now, and she will teach the class. So um, Galactic Reiki is going to be in two parts, I think. And a, at least that's what I heard so far. And there will be a certificate for that. Um, after it's over so that is something brand new that will be presented so it will that's sort of exciting I'm looking forward to that she has the a curriculum I'm going to make up maybe a pamphlet or a little workbook or something of that nature depending on what she wants to do but there will be some uh, really new <laughs> things there as well so if you're uh, if you're so inclined join us I think it'll be a lot of fun there'll be a lot of learning uh, we'll have some chakra classes we'll have some 
uh, Reiki classes. We'll have all kinds of different things. So, and channeling, of course. So, um, for those of you who are so inclined, look into it when we get all the information ready. Uh, we're just still working on it right now. So, uh, our information packets are sort of incomplete at the moment. But Angie and I are going to go down and look at the uh, the place where it's going to be and see what it looks like and take some pictures down there and so we'll have a better idea of what we're working with. Super, yes, absolutely. So I, 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 I'm excited. It's the first time I do the thing. I did some gatherings before and I visited some gatherings before, but for Kukula, um, basically there is a lot of spiritual guidance. That's what I see when I work on that. There is um, meditation, which I do, prayers that Jim does, and things just come together <laughs> um, in a very miraculous ways. So, so uh, I'm just following the guidance basically. And the idea is that we want to keep working on ascension. It's um, it's building the grid and up uplifting the grid. So. Um, Max, we have a couple questions in the chat. Yes. Uh, one is is uh, from Kim as to whether or not the uh, workshops will be attendable online. Uh, the in, the, in the places where we look, the internet is not good, unfortunately. It is there, but it is not good sufficient for the live. We possibly will be able to upload, but upload like slowly overnight. We'll upload a few videos. So you will have, the viewers will have some, some feedback, some, some, delayed feedback so we will yeah. shoot a few things and uh, like we'll record but uh, the gym channel and that. we can look into see what kind of uh activities we can have for outside people but we really don't have all that information yet and the second thing uh the requests come they really want sacred space i don't know i want to publish everything I want to publish as I sleep, right? But uh, but some people want you know really gym for himself, real sessions for themselves. There will be lots of private sessions too. Like you would have like tons of us for for yourself, and we'll have tons of you for ourselves. It's um it's an exchange, but I you know the focus is work. Yeah, we want to do extension work. Um. The second question was that uh, people are trying to enter and I just clicked the button approving them. So a couple more people just entered the, uh, that Facebook group. Uh, and uh, so, so who wants to join now, you can keep joining. I will click uh, approve and uh, you will be able to join. It's, it's pretty fast process. I also had an, a new entry here. Carolyn came in. So we have another person in the in-house as well. Yay. Uh, yeah, by the way, Welcome. one of the Carolines uh, took a, a transcription work from me. I have a record of that, but I asked both Carolines, I remember, and they didn't take it. So somebody have an assignment. I don't want the same video to be transcribed twice. So if there is a Carolyn who is transcribing Jim's video, uh, just let me know. Other, and I, I really think lots of transcripts have been finished. And uh, all of them parts of them being incorporated in the book and all of them will be published online. And the last announcement, we are late. The last announcement, I do now free uh, webinars. Usually it's uh, me channeling uh, Tuesday. I need to write it down, but it's on the website. You go to Hukula Jump page, Hukula Jump. Yeah, I will just give you that link. Hukula dot org okay. slash jump the link uh, humancolony.org slash jump also works it's about the same thing but we moved to hukula org uh, website just because to make it faster the old site kind of became too big and too slow so hukula.org slash jump and there are times but um tuesday noon est and thursday evening 11 p.m. EST, I'm doing channelings. And I think that's all I have. Okie dokie. Um, I, let, I have a couple things I want to ask. First of all, if anybody wants to stay in opening prayer, 
And the other thing is, who would you like to hear channeled today? So those two questions I throw out to you and, um, and to the people in the room here. So uh, please let me know. Uh, Lila says Joshua. Joshua, is that Jesus Joshua? I don't know. Uh, JD says Gaia. Gaia, okay, Gaia. And Yeshua, Joshua. Uh, Lila says, yes, so it's Yeshua, yeah. Yeshua, Joshua, okay, uh -huh. yes, very good. Anybody else? A dolphin, they're from the Dolphin Alliance, Dolphin Whale Alliance. There's something written there, but I can't read it. It says Staric Kurubui. It's a Sani. The two different languages. It's a and Staric Kurubui. What's the name? Staric Kurubui. Oh, Kirubui. Staric Kirubui. Okay, Staric. Okay. I know who that is, yes. Oh, okay. you do? And we have a yes, request sir. for Takur. Takur, okay. Uh, Astrid says, whoever can give info on Ascension. Okay, very good. Somebody has, somebody, did somebody say they have a blessing? I can do a blessing. I have a blessing. Should I go? Okay. Uh, all right. I have all the. I think I have all the requests I need, and uh, so if you want to do a a blessing to start, that would be great. And who is this, Jay? Johannes, JD. Hi, Johannes. Nakiti kawasashi shiawaria nasaki. No asaya hi ya ki ya na sa haya wa ni ya wa si ki ti ya na ya wa si hi hi ya na sa ki si ya wa ri ya na na so ya wa ka ti ni ti sa ka wa hai no ya wa sa ki ya na si ki ta no ha si si ya wa ra no ya ka si si ya wa na i ya sa i ya no ha ya wa si na ha ya wa i ya no a si ki na ha i ya May the great light of love and eternity penetrate all areas of the message and into all hearts and souls as they listen. No matter if they listen live or if they listen to a recording, let the movement of light be full and rich. Let love flow and optimism create a great standard for a new way of living. Your people need to rise up and quickly. Let this happen with God's blessing. Thank you. That was good. Go ahead. Do you have another blessing here in the room? Barbara would like to do one. Come closer to the... Uh... See if it comes through. Okay. She's a little nervous, but that's all right. Don't worry. Okay. Go ahead. Just go. Very good. The places of light are now exposed and are shedding their brilliance upon your world so that it may continue to be uplifted and blessed. I don't know if you even heard that, what she was saying. It was a really, it was in the Naga language. It was quiet, it was, but I heard it. Very good. It was a Naga blessing. Thank you. 
So therefore, all right, is everybody ready? Yes. All right, I think that I will have a moment of meditation and I'll bring whoever comes through first. There are several people here right now do, uh, do not know who they all are, but uh, I know Takur is here. I know um, there's other uh, energies that I recognize, but it's they're sort of all blending together. So, okay, I will see you in a moment. Have a wonderful day, and I will uh, talk to you later. See you in a moment. Thank you. Greetings. I am Yeshua. How are you all doing today? Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you for coming. I have a message that is about the changes that are happening in this world, in this universe, galaxy, what all the places that changes are happening. Remember, you must flow with the changes and not let them get you down. You must understand that God is with you in this time of change. And as Yogananda has spoken through Max, you must remain at peace and bring your soul into a peaceful alignment with many things that are happening. Now, that does not mean you do not stand for what you believe, but you stand but you do not stand in violence. You do not stand in a way that is unbecoming to who you are, but be an example of leadership as you stand and bring forth your opinions. They should not be angry, but they should be educated, loving, and based on truth and integrity. I know many of you have been outraged by things that are happening in this day and age and have been affected by energies that have come from many different places and many for many different reasons. And this has been very disruptive. However, it is not uh, by chance that all these things have happened at once. The world must wake up. The world must come to attention. These changes are to bring uh, you into a new thought process. These changes are to bring God into your thought process in a different way than ever before. Because it is a time of challenge. Not only for your people, but the people of the galaxies and the people of the universe. But it is your job to take care of your world and your problems and your understandings. So therefore, when you see all these changes, do not turn your head and just shrug. But remember that there are th things that you must do. Activities, prayers, devotions, meditations that should be given over to this thought process what is happening does anybody really know on this planet what will happen in the next few years with these kinds of earthly changes with these kinds of uh, alien changes with these kinds of political changes with these kinds of weather changes with the shake-up of the earth in its ways that are in the earth as earthquakes and volcanoes and weather and things of this nature. So many changes are happening at once. You must take notice. But there are many out there that say, life is just the same as it ever was. To them I say this, wake up and pay attention. 
life is not the same. You do not have in the past these terrorists that are unseen and unknown where they will attack next. You do not have this weather that is so unusual that it is confounding even the greatest of scientists. You do not have the great energies that are coming from outside of your world or the ones that are shaking up this planet. The new energies of Gaia are settling down, yes, and making things calmer and easier. However, that does not mean you can relax because the changes that are coming to the planet, the changes that have already come are going to be a great significance, of great significance. Be prepared for change. I saw that someone had put out a website called Prepare for Change All Locations. This was very interesting to me and very true because there will be changes in all areas. There will be changes in thought processes. All of your thought processes have changed within the last year. And I can honestly tell you that you have recognized some of them. Those of you that are enlightened and are part of the fourth dimensional energy have definitely noticed changes in your thought processes, changes in your world, changes in your attitude. But those that are more positive will notice the drawing of ascension, the drawing of the light, the drawing of all those things that are positive. But of course, you will also notice the negative as well. But you must focus on the positive. Now, there are many more things that I could say at this time, but I would like to entertain some questions. Is there anyone that has some? Remember, there is nothing insignificant about what is happening to this planet. Nothing insignificant whatsoever. So no questions are insignificant either. So if you have something that you need to say or express. Yeah, I think there, there is a, there is an expression. There is a question here. All right. Go. Uh, what what do we need to know about these changes coming up in different areas? Um, you know, warmer. I'll be moving to a warmer climate. So is there anything we need to do to prepare or be aware of? Yes. Your, yes. The preparation is your getting closer to God, getting closer to source and getting closer to those things that resonate with you. Because other than that, you will not be able to predict what will happen next, but your, your beliefs and your God will help you to move forward and help you through the times that might be considered troubling or difficult. The greatest preparation is for the soul and for the heart and for the mind. There are no great preparations anywhere else unless you can feel them within yourself, unless you can know that there is something that you need to do to prepare for the future. If God is telling you to collect food and water, do so. If he is not, then it's not necessary. But he will be speaking to his people in a way that he has not done so in a long time. He wants to everyone to be prepared. He wants everyone to be enlightened. And therefore, your greatest preparation is to be close to God and understanding who he is and what he is about. Thank you. Astrid goes next. Hi, uh, thank you very much for your love and support. This is Astrid. Um, my question is about um, 
what we might be experiencing in terms of the timeline for ascension. I understand that many factors could contribute to that and change it, but if there was a rough range about changes that we will be experiencing and the completion of the process, um, would yes. you be able to share something? It has been well known for a while that the ascension will take time, or at least that's what it was thought of in the past. But with the changes that are coming, it is speeding up the ascension because more people will be awakened by all the different changes that are happening now than have happened before. This is a time of sudden change. Uh, many things are happening that are making people suddenly aware. So yes, it was at one time 170 to 200 years before your next step in evolution, but that has been brought forward. Also, um, it's been brought forward at least 30 years at this point. Also, what's been brought forward is disclosure and first contact all these things are coming closer because of change and not being pushed farther away because as the minds of people are changing and becoming more enlightened and understanding why the changes are happening, this brings the future closer. This brings positivity into a, a closer range. Does that make it uh, clear for you? Yes, I understand perfectly. Thank you very much. You're welcome. I just wanted to clarify, would the time remain the same or it would, it would be a different time counting once the ascension happens? No, time will change slightly, but you are still going to be in a place where there is a 24-hour day, and at least that is the average day is 24 hours. It is not exact, but you will still be in the same kind of third dimension uh, at this time. That will change too with the opening of fourth dimensional portals, which have already been uh, starting to open and bring fourth dimensional energy into your world to change your world into a fourth dimensional world, which has not happened yet. And some people are saying, ah, oh, it's happening right now, but it is a slow process. To be, to change a world from third dimension to fourth dimension is a slow process because you cannot just quickly change it into a, a, new, uh, a new density without great consequences. So that is why I'm telling you, yes, it has started. The ascension in that sense also has started, but there are so many definitions of ascension out there. I, I couldn't even begin to tell you which ones that you are thinking of, but I can tell you this. The fourth dimension that is being released on the earth will take quite a while to uh, become part of everything, and you will not you move into Teraha for a while. So do not be, do not set your sights on that for now, but set your sights on getting through and building your spiritual character so that when that time comes, you will be ready. Thank you. Um, Lila is next. Hi, Yoshua. Blessing and love to you, my dear best friends from my childhood I have things to you as well I have a question uh, mine in a uh, question and comment mine in a, in a piece comes from knowing to who I belong yes and that's only how I can contact to my inner peace and happiness and now through Max and uh, Jim I am discovering the option to connect to my source but still I am covered and I would like to know from you if you could give me some insight of our connection. It would help me to develop more love for you. I have a, first of all, let me say this in general. I do have a personal 
connection with all those that are experienced great spiritual growth. I do have a connection with all of those, but I have personal connections with many of you as well. You were alive during the time that I was on earth, and this is a time for you to return because you knew me then, and you knew how I work, and you knew how life changed afterwards after becoming part of the information that was greater than third dimension. So that is why many of you are here. But yes, we do have a connection. We are together in many lifetimes, but especially the lifetime when I was alive. Many of you followed and listened and were a part of the ministry that I was part of then. That was a life when I was more complete as a creator being with God as my father with me, working together, working as one. And so, yes, I knew you then. Do, does the uh, real Jerusalem exist in other higher realms? Yes, it does. Because it has to. Because it, it is something that must remain. The one that you experience, the place where Jerusalem is, is a very interesting place because it is the one of the great vortexes of your planet. And many religions have felt that energy and divine intervention there at that particular place. There's more than one religion that claims it as their home. And so therefore, yes, it is a great place and it does move into other realms because it is multi-dimensional. When you went to India, to what God you were connected uh, on the emotional level the most? Indian gods. I know that you see that there you that people separate the gods, but there is only one God. But and so that my father was the God that I was connected to. I know there are many lesser gods that many other religions subscribe to and listen to and and pray to and bow down to, but they only need to bow to the one. What's the what's the original name of God? Can you tell us here? The, from which civilization? Every In civilization has their own name for God that was the first. From the Hindu civilization of God, so Hindu. The Hindu? Yes. I believe it was Yahweh. Uh, so and the names have changed down through the history to Yahweh, Yeshua, Jesus, Josiah, Joseph, uh, not Joseph, but um, Joshua, and many other names. Ra had a name for God above his name. There were many, many names. What is about Shiva, Brahma, Lord Vishnu? Where are they standing? Where are they? Well, Some of them are back here on the planet now to help with ascension. Others are watching and guiding from above. Wonderful. And my last question, uh, could you tell me my connection to Elohims, if I have any connection? Yes. Elohim is a, co a group, a community, if you will, of godlike beings that are just under the god realm. They are here for communication, for healing, for many different reasons, messages to humanity, for guidance. But your connection is that they have spoken to your people at one time. They speak to all peoples at one time or another, and you were connected to them because you listened and felt their presence. Uh Hello? Who are my yes. people? 
all people are your people. Oh. Well, I, I do not know why sometimes people will want to distinguish themselves one from another. When you all come from the dust of the universe right. and are all the same in many ways, even those that are not humanoid and have different thought processes and have different ways of life, you are all the same to me and I love you all the same. We in, in third dimension, we have very limited uh, vision and that's why we try to understand what is almost um, impossible to understand. So we yes. do have a strange way of thinking and putting everything in the box because that's how our brain kind of works. Understood. Yeah. I love you for that, doing that, because it tells me effort was made to quite try to understand God and you and how you relate to God and how you relate to other people in God. The effort has been made by people and planets and civilizations all over the universe to understand God and how they relate one to another. I pray that one day that you will become part of the galaxy and see how your uh, lack of prejudice, hopefully, will bring you together and make you see how much alike you really are and that there's very little division when it comes down to the basic needs of the soul. When the church is going to fall on this planet, I hope soon. Well, the thing is about the church, it has very strong hooks into people everywhere. Now, yes, it will have to change. Falling, I am not sure if they will let it completely destroy itself, but they will have to have changes because the information that they will, will have to see and have to know will change the, the basics of how they worship and how they see the rest of the world. Love must be the center of every religion and not hatred because it seems that the message has gotten through that sinners are supposed to be held at arm's length until they come to God. They will invite them in, but they will not be close to them. But yet, how can they lead them to God if they don't know who they are and what they need? Sometimes it works, but most of the time it pushes them farther away. Love is the only way to draw people into the church and make a church work because other than love, all the other rules are, and all the other lessons are secondary. Could we as a group, our who call a group, could we do some a group's energy uh, activation so we can dismantle the church? Just uh, uh, whatever way would you recommend, like sending them love? Or I would say it this way. Would, I would not ask God to dismantle the church, but to heal it, to make it whole and make it what it should be. Right. To dismantle it is a destructive thought and a negative uh, picture. But to bring healing to it, to bring fullness and understanding to the people that are there, to let them know that those outside of their cultures and outside of their world are not against them and or not demonic or not negative necessarily would be a great revelation for many of the people and inclusion and love for all people no matter what they feel believe or how they act is the way that it must be for the church because the church must include the world in order for god to save it so that would mean that we, light worker, we will have to deal and yes. send love and uh, group meditation to heal the church because that is no other way. It has to be healed 
from outside. And you are doing it, not maybe as groups, but many of you are praying for the church, and many of you are part of churches, and not necessarily that you believe everything that is going on there, but you believe that the people there are sincere, some of them, there are always those that are sincere, but yes, we would like to be, you would, we would like to have people in a group to pray for the healing of the church, pray for those that are in the church, for there's eyes to be open for what is the church but its people. So have their eyes open all the way from the top to the bottom, because even those in the lowliest places in the church and the highest places in the church need understanding and love for one another, and not to be judging. The Bible speaks against judgment, but yet that is what they're most known for, is their judgment of one I, another. Uh, my last, my truly last question, <laughs> are you not a uh, uh, little bit distressed about you, they, Eastern, and the eggs and bunnies involved because I, I do not connect you with bunnies and eggs. So it how, is all right. It's all I right. Do not, there are many things that are disconnected with your world and with many other worlds. They brought around the bunnies and the eggs for the children so that they would appreciate the day. But the meaning got, gets lost uh, with the giving and the pleasure of seeing children happy. But as the children grow, they're taught the true meaning of Easter, at least I hope. But some still wallow in the thought that it is just another day and that it is just another time to make the children happy. But it is a great day of resurrection, a great day of energy that has been changed that has changed the world forever and ever and has changed the universe in many many places so therefore yes bunnies and eggs and chocolate and things of this nature may not seem to fit in but if it's given out of love i'd rather have that than judgment or negativity but it you're right it does not have a true place for the holiday but as, as I see it, have the children come unto me. I love the children. And if the children are happy because they cannot understand what is happening as that day comes, then let them enjoy it, but also let them learn the truth. Joshua, perfect as always. We thank you. We love you. And we are going to see you on the other side one day. Of course you will. And we shall have a great chat. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wonderful. Uh, Lila, after Lila, Angie, Angie and Anya and Lemonade. Angie next. Hello, Yeshua. Yes. Hello. Much love to you. Um, much love to you. I'd like, you know, just on the topic that Lila was on, um, uh, talking about the Easter, um, I understand, well, all most religions understand that it is the resurrection life um, that we are celebrating, right? And Correct. I was also thinking of how we are going to, <clears throat> excuse me, ascend and in what way exactly, because the way Jesus ascended was uh, somewhat to maybe the way we're going to ascend. Are we really going to ascend that way? Or are we just going to be taken out of what we used to be and into the new and being at that new resurrected life where we are living so wholly from the heart and from the spiritual realm? That is a wonderful question. Let me answer it because Thank you. There, are, there are several different aspects to that question that are interesting. First of okay. all, there will be some that do ascend the same way as I did. There will be some, but you probably will not see them. And the reason is, is because when they do their ascension, they will need no abstraction 
uh, no di distractions around them to do it that way. However, there will come a time when there, the ascension as far as moving into a new dimension will come, and that will be a little different than that kind of ascension. But it will be actually disappearing from third dimension and entering another dimension, whatever you want to call it, fourth, fifth, whatever it is, terra ha to you, the, the next dimension of your, your planet. Now, your preparation for this is to just be as true to yourself and to God as possible. It is not to change anything about you, not to have too many rules or regulations that say, oh no, I can't do this, I can't do that, but just go with your heart and do what is purely you. But, and that will move you closer to God because God is the creation force within your soul. And he is, if you let him take control, he lets you become all the things that you need to be. And he will push you toward the ascension. And whether you pass away and enter uh, the next life that way, or whether you move forward and ascend in different ways, it does not matter as long as you make it to the afterlife in a way that is pleasing to God. But let me tell you this. Your planet depends on your actions. Your planet depends on your example. And to bring about the ascension in the proper way, a lot of people must be awake and moving forward. But I'm so happy that you answered, asked that question because the density of mankind is becoming less and less. You are entering a time when many of you can feel that less density. I know that some of you have mentioned it to each other and to others, that, there, that your density feels a little less, or that there is something about you that is changing, that you're not sure of what that is. And that is part of what is happening. Now, you'll say, yes, but what does it matter? All people will end up in the oversoul anyway. Mm -hmm. However, not all will be there in a good way. They will have to go through much filtering, much teaching, and will not be able to be part of the oversoul in a true way until their negativity is totally filtered out and they can understand the lessons of the life. It's a beautiful answer to that, that question. Um, really beautiful. Um, your Holy Spirit is someone that I'm very, very familiar with who abides in me daily and um, I I find a lot of strength in in him and I feel your energy is somewhat the same of course um, he is the active part yes of us. he is the energy the vibrance the kinetic part of who we are if oh, it's someone beautiful. Needs healing if someone needs motion if someone needs the portion of us that needs activity on your planet. It is the Holy Spirit that acts, but we are all the same. He is just a part of who we are, the kinetic and the energetic part of us. Oh, he's beautiful. I love him. I love you it's equally. It's, it's, a, it's a complex matter, uh, but it's also a triune um, aspect of who you are, right? Um, yeah. Which is, it is evident in the Bible as well. So some of the Bible is somewhat correct as well. Uh, some I of have, it is uh, yes. Yeah, yeah. Um, I have a question on behalf of a friend in the chat, whose name is Sher, and he says uh, he loves you very much. And of course, he, he's asking if you have a message for Israel, going through this time Israel. period. 
Yes. It is a lot of, a lot of, um, everything looks a little bit like it's in third world war at the moment. And people are concerned and they're asking questions <clears throat> on the outside. I'm just reading their questions. So um, you have already given us a message, but he would prefer if something, if you have something particular for yes. Israel. Thank Israel you. is at a turning point, a watershed, if you will, and they have decisions to make. And please, I pray to God that they make the right decisions because mm -hmm. they can, they, they are one of the keys to whether the world will have another world war or not. If there is another world war, then it does not look very hopeful for your people to ascend. But we are praying that that is avoided and that that life will move forward in a positive way now the book of revelations speak of armageddon which is a final mm. war where the north comes down and the the west is coming over and it speaks symbolically of the nations of the world coming together in one place and that right. this will be the final war before God uh, returns. Is it called a Megiddo? This is a possibility still. Yes. Okay. What? Is it called a, a, a Megiddo? Uh, yes. Something like yes. that. Yes. Several, several different names from right. different languages. It's Armageddon, Armageddon, but right. it will... I it will be as it is. It will come about if certain decisions are made. And it looks like it may happen, but that will delay some things. But it may have to happen just to teach the people of the world that God is so powerful. We, we would need to pray for Israel to make the right decisions, right? Yes. Absolutely. Because it ultimately lies with them right now, from judging from what you have said. Yes. <clears throat> they are one of the key. All right. They are one of the keys to that war. Okay. Do that then. Thank you very much, Yeshua. You are welcome. Thank you. Yes. You just mentioned yeah, Holy I'm Spirit. Oh, good. Uh, you, you, should, you just mentioned yeah. Holy Spirit. Um, I recently heard that Holy Spirit is just a hidden name, uh, a name for a feminine aspect of God. Is it right? That would be from the movie The Shack. But oh yes, that sounds. It is right. only symbolizing one portion of the aspect of the Holy Spirit. It is a interesting um, breakdown of who God is. But God is so much more than what is portrayed there. But the Holy Spirit is the active part of God, the part that comes and does the work. Thank you very much. Uh, next is Anya and Lemonade. Anya? Yes, can you hear me? Yep. Yes. Hello, Yashua. My heart is filled with love and happiness. I am so happy I can hear you. Um, I have a few questions. Yes. <laughs> I have a few questions for you. First of all, I would like to clear one thing, if I may, please. Um, I have been, um, Jim did channeling for me, and he told me I have been your 12th Apostle Matthew. Can you clarify that for me? If not, what is my strong connection with you? Because I know I can feel you. You are one of the 12 apostles? Is that what you were told? That's what, yeah, yeah, to Matthew. Yes, but interesting enough, you were the apostle that came after Judas. Mm. Can you explain that, please? After Judas was, had left the 12 disciples, they brought in another so that the number would still be 12. And my name was still what I have been told. Yes. 
Thank you. I appreciate it. I have a question for you, really strong. As you know, I have been connecting with you. I saw you in my dreams a lot of times. You are standing there. We are in a cave. You're sitting next to me, and there are two others. You talk to me, and I see us, but I cannot hear your voice, but I'm nodding my head. It's like I see myself speaking with you, but I don't hear the words. How can I catch your words? How can I write down what you're talking about? The words that were being spoken at that time were not to be revealed to you because they were sent to your soul and sent to your subconscious so that they would be part of who you are. Your ears could not hear them in the same way as your soul and your spirit. Does that make sense to you? Absolutely, yes. Um, I'm trying so to... So you were fulfilled in a way that words could not fulfill. And so therefore, the words were not necessary to be ho heard, but the soul needed to know the meaning of your association. And therefore, you will know these words coming in the future, because they will be part of your message to the world and who you are in God. Thank you, Ashwa. Master, I am so happy to hear your voice. You know that, how much I feel. Yes. If you could please help me, how can I write those words that are true, your true words? I have been searching for your words a lot of times what I have been reading. I do not know why people ask me, how do you know this is not exactly Yahshua's word? I said, I have no idea, but I know. Where can I find, or how can you tell me so I can write your words, the true ones yes, for humanity? Yes, you have written some of my words already, haven't you? Yeah. And but, there will you know, be more. People and would, I, this is how you do it. You call on me, and yes. come, and I will come to you. And when you start to write, mm -hmm. it will just come as a channel through you, the words that I need for you to say, the words that need to be written, that you need to see, and that others need to hear. I am becoming really distanced from people. I cannot stay um, a lot of times closer to people right now recently. Actually, I just... That is because... Let me yes. Go ahead, you Joshua. Are becoming, I need you. Yeah, go ahead. You are becoming less dense. You are becoming a part of a new world, a new, a new density. But this is the time that you must separate yourself and understand and organize your thoughts because there is something for you to do afterwards and people will be involved. But right now you must separate yourself from them because they are not, their negativity and their energies influence your density. And you yeah. will come back to a third density in a way that is pure and will be part of your future message. Thank you. I'm sending you my love and I will be waiting for you, for your words. I'm giving microphone to others. Namaste, my love. Much love. Thank you. Lemonade is next. And uh, people who are on smartphones and cannot participate in the chat, just prepare to speak after that. Lemonade is next. Lemonade. Yes. The, the, fir the first question I got may seem kind of dark, but what, um, what, uh, what do they call it? The, um, the uh, North Korea, would that start a world war? Or if it does, can we prevent it? The people there are not happy with their leader, although they are forced to give him great credence. They are forced to bow down to him, and they are forced to say that they love him. But they know that he is not the kind of leader that they want. Do you he think is a we powerful, can remove but not a... Listen. He is a powerful man in the sense that he is not of a great sanity. And that gives him great power because he has little fear. But no, he will not be the one that starts the war. 
that's good. And my uh, and my second question is, um, what am I are con am I connected to you at all, or as apostle? You are not an apostle, but you are connected to me. I know who you are, and we had many talks when I was alive two thousand years ago. And uh, to the second to the second part of that second question, um, to, uh, I feel very disconnected to you at, at in this lifetime. I don't know why. But let me explain. You see, I told you we had many talks together, but you were one of the Pharisees. You were one of the those that were against what I had to say back then, and you were against what I stood for. However, you did understand eventually that I was not of an evil spirit or not of anything malevolent. And so therefore, even though you did not come around to saying that you had a belief in me, you did say that you believed in God, of course. But the disconnect in this lifetime has to do with that lifetime as well. There are some things about the church and about the things that Christians have done that are very unpleasant to you. And um, you may not fully be aware of that, but it, it did leave a very ugly feeling with you. But that does not mean we are not close still. I love you, and I know that we will come closer in the future. And uh, forgive those that have caused you to actually separate from me, because they were not acting in a positive or a loving way. Thank you. But much love. Does that make sense to you? Yes, it does. Good. Thank because you. Much we, love. Are, we are close, and I do love you, and we will be closer in the future because you are a powerful man and you have things to do and things to say. Thank you. Any True. more questions? Any this more questions? This is Stephanie. Can I ask a couple yes, questions? Thank you. Certainly. Thank you. Good day and blessings to you, Yeshua. Blessings. Thank you for connecting with us. I, it is my pleasure. <laughs> I was wondering about the gap in the scriptures that's often spoken of between the, the ages of 12 and 30 for you, there seems to not be any clear account of where you were and what you um, might have been doing. I've read or heard things that um, suggested that you were in the maybe Gnostic secret schools of teaching. Um, I don't know if I'm putting that correctly, but- Yes, you you're doing fine. Let me tell you what was going on then. The reason why these years are not recorded is because it would shake the faith of, the, of many people. But being as God and I were one, we had to learn as much about the people of earth and about the people that we were teaching and loving as we could. And so I did as many things and learned as much about the world as I could, the philosophies, the actions. You read many places where I sat with sinners and talked to them. And to me, they were not sinners. They were just people that were there to teach me why they did the things they did, where they came from, what brought them into this kind of, of activity, what made them a robber, a thief, a prostitute, what made them uh, outcasts from society. I had to understand them more than they could possibly realize. I had to understand them more than I had to understand those of faith, because those of faith were actually a little less basic or a little less 
human because they have brought in God already. You see, once you bring God into your life, you're not quite the same anymore. You're not quite human because you're living in a different spiritual reality. So therefore, I was there to learn about the people of all kinds and experience as much as I could of this planet because I was to represent them in some way to eternity. Does that make sense to you? Yes, yes, it does. And I so, understand. Yes. Go ahead, go. I'm sorry, please. No. no, go ahead. I understand there was some time in there that you may have had the opportunity to just be, um, have those have experiences of being young and you know having friends that uh, around you that you did things with and and I'm just right. wondering if you had a chance to just kind of you know live that experience too of being a young adult in correct some ways that was true and I got drunk once but that's all I had to do <laughs> is once because <laughs> then I had experienced it. Was it a sin to get drunk that one time? No, it was the experience that I had to have the experience. to bring to the Father. Yeah. Did I overeat? Understand. I did that once. <laughs> I understood it. I felt diseases. I understood them. I understood pain of all kinds. Wow. wow. But yet... Yeah. It was only to bring the information to the Father so that we could yeah. understand the people in the way of a greater means. To help them. Look at the Old Testament compared to the New Testament. The Old Testament, fiery, hateful almost in some places, where God, it seems like he is very vengeful and terrible not all of those things he did by the way <laughs> but when it comes to the new version of god after mary magdalene and i conceived yes we had a child that, that is not known yes but after that yes. things became much more mellow oh. much more loving Wonderful much more understood. Of course, once the Father and I were completed the mission that was, we were there, we could understand and love the people greater and more fully. And my heart goes out to those with sicknesses. My heart goes out to those with illnesses and pains and woes and I could have never felt it the same way had I not experienced it yes, myself. I understand. Mm -hmm. I have two final questions. One yes. is One if you could speak to when you when passed, passed out through the crowd. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and um, it was here. Here. wondering if that was an energetic yeah. process of some, some kind. kind. Uh, I did not quite hear all of what you said. There was, that I cast uh, out what? There was an occasion where I, I think, and I don't remember who it was, they were looking for you or looking for um, some representation of you and you passed out through the crowd as though you had disappeared. But you passed out through the crowd Correct. Uh, the reason that the the reason for that was this: they were looking to take me away and into custody, and I it wasn't time for that yet. That was not the time for me. But as I passed through the crowd, some were healed because they believed and because they their faith made them whole. So, but I did pass through the crowd because uh, they were seeking those that they. They were seeking me, but only to uh, put me into captivity. And it was and it not was yet time. time for me to give up my ministry. So it wasn't that you actually disappeared, for lack of a better description. It's just that you were able to pass through 
and, and well, let me put without it this way: God blind. enabled me to pass through the crowd without being seen, because He is able to do that. Ah, okay. Thank you for that clarification. And the last question: I just wanted to know what kind of areas um, in, in that day did you travel to during those years that you had those experiences? I traveled as extensively as I could because I did want to see different cultures. I did want to see different lands. Of course, my father could show them to me in dreams and give me some information about the topography of the world. But I wanted to see as much as possible. I went to India, Turkey, Egypt. I went many places, yes. Uh, thank you so much. And I, I just want to say I love you, and you are delicious in my soul. Amen. So thank you so much. Thank you. Any more there's, questions? There's one here in the room. Yay. Speak loud. I'm interested in anything that you might be able to share at this time about the um, resurrection, um, some things about that um, that would be good to know. Uh, what do you... I can tell you all about it. Um, the resurrection was simply that. Uh, God took me, well, first of all, before I was resurrected, I went into hell, as the Bible says, to let them know that they were all forgiven. Because that is the understanding that was given to me during my time on earth. There was no one that did not deserve forgiveness. No one, even those that were considered in hell, which I do not call hell, but for your understanding, Bo, we will call it that. But they were all forgiven. And they were, they were told that they could return to heavenly realms if they so chose. Because only those that choose not to go to, to the Oversoul are the ones that go elsewhere. If you want to go to the Oversoul, even though your life was really not so good or you were a very negative person, you will go there. But if you defile the name of God or curse him or want to be away from him, then you will go somewhere else. And those are all forgiven. All are forgiven of all their sins. But God will not force you to be with him if you don't want to be with him. That, that is who he is. But let me tell you that they were forgiven, and then only after that could I be resurrected into a higher place. And the resurrection was actually from taken from third dimension to the dimension of heaven. So therefore, it was a transformation, basically. I was still alive, and just like all of you, there is no death. But I moved in a little better way in some forms because I had to get there really quickly. <laughs> Does Anything that make else? sense to you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very good. Um, any more questions? Uh, just one, for me, please, the last one. Um, yeah, sure, I feel very, very close to you, and I know you for some time now. I would just like to know how and when, if I even lived a lifetime with you, which one or which part did we know each other in? All of these people that are around these days and know who I am now, knew me when I was doing my ministry in one way or another. That is why they have come back in this time of ascension to keep the light shining, to make the fire grow so that things can move forward the way they should. Even though their pictures of ascension may be different, may, even though their pictures of what is to come may not actually be true, they know that something good is coming and keep your eyes on that. But you and I were in uh, the same life together, 
And you were actually a friend of Mary Magdalene's who was also a teacher. Oh, wonderful. Thank you very much. I was wondering about that because um, Angela in the room said something that I was connected with the Mary Magdalene. So I was wondering about that. Thank you oh, very much. Your answer. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I always You're seem welcome. to answer my own questions. It's so uh, weird. <laughs> <laughs> it is all right. Sometimes confirmation builds faith. Now I understand, yes. Thank you. You're welcome. Any more questions? I, I had one follow-up, if I may. Mm -hmm. it, had to do, it had to do with um, the three days from the between before the resurrection that you had just spoken to. I remember reading that you descended first to get some keys. And I think it said to lead captivity captive. Can you just speak to that? And that really is my last question. <laughs> Thank you. Um, what that What is that referring to is that my dissension to, to go and unlock the gates that were of people captured in hell that did not really belong there and I forgave them and unlocked their cells and if they wanted to leave they could is that the keys you're talking about and the three days there were certain things that had to happen but bet before I actually ascended into heaven be right. on the earth some activities that were essential uh, to uh some people's lives before i ascended and yes. so i had to let them go through those things and then i ascended because i had to be with them during that time okay thank you any more questions um i wanted to ask a question um we are doing uh, the ascension work and this includes some external communication between people and collective meditations. Can you recommend how can we collectively, not individually, but collectively um, do the ascension work? What would be the, the ways of, what, what, what is the intention and what really can we do? Actually, there is one way to connect. Everyone on your planet is connected through the heart, the soul to one another and to everyone in the universe. You are all connected because God is your soul and he made all souls. And so that connection exists throughout the universe and throughout your planet. But activate your love and connect with as many of these souls as possible because that is the only thing that can be agreed upon 100%. You all have a different vision, a different version of who God is, of what God is, of what ascension is, of what humanity is supposed to do. But through love, it is all the same in one way. It connects you one to another, and that gives you great power to move in a positive way. And that is the only thing that will be the same with all of you. But what does it mean in practical terms? How shall we meditate? How shall we collectively work? The way that you need to work. I cannot put you together in groups, but you can group yourself together if you'd like. God knows who will get along with who and who will not. So put yourself together. You know the scripture that says, wherever two or three are gathered, so am I. So it does not have to be large groups. It can be small groups if you wish. But as long as your purpose is true and integral, and you're doing it for love and the right reasons, it will definitely help. Thank you. Uh, is it all right to choose to separate 
<clears throat> to become separate from the mainstream people, from you the majority. Like monks? monks separate themselves from people because they believe that the third dimension or the world is full of temptation and that they would not be able to serve God if they were part of it. And so separation from the world is what they do as a sacrifice and a love to God. But it is not necessary if you can love God and still move forward. But if you feel the need to separate yourself from the world because you cannot function properly or give God the love that he deserves properly, then definitely do so. If that is what you want to do, it is only a matter of your own desire. For if you are forced away from others because they feel that you cannot handle the world, that is not the same thing. You yourself must make the decisions for yourself. Yes, thank you. I'm more thinking about mental separation, just deciding that ah. we are different. We are different and the mainstream is different. Just n not being united with everybody. Is it all right? Yes. Um, there will be an automatic mental separation when you accept spirituality and others are not spiritual. There is a separation. And to be with others that are worldly and not spiritual may cause you to decline in your spiritual thought process. But on the other hand, if you are a great example, it may increase their spiritual understanding and put them on a greater path. But if you do not feel strong enough mentally to be in the world and to want to separate, that is fine. It is a matter of survival. Thank you, that Spirit. helps. Spiritual survival. Thank you. Any more questions? I, Thank yes. you very much. Uh, we have another half an hour. Um, we may bring another entity. Thank you. Yes. It would be good to speak to someone else. I've taken up much of your time. Oh, you're always welcome. Thank you. Much love, and thank you for listening, and thank you for your penetrating questions. There is someone else to speak to you. Greetings, I'm Takur. Hi, Takur, welcome. Since there is only a short time left, they asked me to come because others would be a lot long, more long-winded, and I will be short-winded. Thank you. Is that the right term? But anyway, yes, I just wanted to come and answer any questions you might have about the colonies at this time or about the Galactic Reiki that I am going to be presenting at the next workshop that Max and Jim are doing. Any questions? Yes. Yes. The other week, I had a dream about some very weird place. Was that one of the colonies that I was visiting? What did it look like? You did visit the colonies recently, Aren't but I'm not sure if they can be considered weird. We tried to make them more like your, uh, well, we do have many different features for different species, right. but uh, we tried to make them a, a, as accommodating as possible. What do you mean Aren't by, what was a weird feature to you? Like the air, it wasn't air, it was more like, plasma as we know it down here 
Ah, all right. Then you were in one of the other rooms outside of the colonies because there are rooms for other different species. And actually, if they invite you in, you may be prepared and go into these other right. rooms uh, to join them. All right, that helps, and thank you. You're welcome. Most of the colonies now, of course, there are six or seven. Well, six now. There's going to be seven, but there's only six at the moment. The sixth one is the healing colony. So, um, but uh, they're working on a seventh colony, and it still has been determined what to call it. Yes. There's a question. Hi, Takuo. I have a question about the galactic healing. Yes. Uh, what kind of method you are going to use it, if you can ex uh, expose? And yes. what exactly you're going to heal? Like, could you, could you tell us more, some info about it? Oh, excellent. Yes. Galactic healing. We set up um, Colony 6 to be a healing colony. And so we've tried many different kinds of healing uh, symbols, healing modalities on the humans that came to the Colony 6 and found that several of the universal or galactic Reiki methods also work with humans to help healing. We will be presenting some from the yu Hill culture, some from Octorian culture, some from Lyrian culture, and some from Syrian culture that are um, other modalities for healing, such as similar to Reiki, but not the same. And they are the symbols that go with them uh, that are very powerful for humans. Now we've taken these and checked them out with your Earth atmosphere. There were some symbols from other cultures such as Fendorian and uh, Reptilian and things of that nature that did not mesh with the kind of atmosphere that your planet has. So we are only bringing to you those modalities and those symbols that work best with humans. So this class will be about expansion of the Reiki healing and also it will be expansion of your knowledge of galactic healing and, and telling you about how some of these symbols and energies originated uh, in the universe and in the galaxy. Uh, does anyone can do it or it has to be healer from the past? Or No, no. Anyone can do these. Oh. You see, um, what these symbols do and what this healing of uh, the galactic Reiki will teach you is that after attunement, your, your body is energized for uh, using these symbols and for using healing in your hands. The, everyone on your planet has healing in their hands to different degrees. Some are great healers and some are moderate healers and some are weak healers. But those that are interested in healing are usually the ones that are either between the moderate and strong healing modalities because they know that they can effectively work on people and be successful. Now, there will be attunements for these symbols. There will have to be more than one because, of course, the attunements will come with the symbols from four different cultures. So that will be uh, of four different alien species cultures. So that will be also a learning process. That is wonderful, wonderful news for all of us. Could you tell me, because I'm not activated healer in this life yet, could you tell me what, what kind of healer am I? I am like uh, on... Do I yes, have you are... Well, what kind of healer? You are an energy healer. That would uh, cover all the healers in the world in, at this rate, except for those that are modified and are beyond energy healers and do extraordinary uh, things that would be almost considered magic. But you are an energy healer, and you, you have energies in your hands, 
your forehead, your heart chakra area, your wrists and fingertips and palms. Uh, would you recommend for me do the Reiki healing as a, as a job, as a service to Lord? Let me ask you a question before I answer that. Is healing one of your highest resonations? Uh, resonations? Is it something that you really want to do? I was told all my life that I'm a great healer, but I was thinking be with God alone uh, would be enough. And the healing will come when God wants me to do it. And that is so. If your belief system is in line with that, that is all you need. These things that will be taught will enhance some of those things. Be more specific. Uh, let me explain. Some of the things that we will teach will be for brain healing or for mental healing, for healing of nervous systems, or for putting energy in particular places. Now, you see, with your belief system, you're, it's generally known that you could heal pretty much all things. But these break down into specifics so that you might be able to be more uh, effective. <laughs> If, if somebody would choose to work with you, would choose like a master, a teacher, friend to work with you, would you accept somebody? Would I accept that? Yes. Uh, could you accept me as your student? Of course. Thank you. I have not finished. Uh, the curriculum will be finished by the time the workshop is uh, rolled out and I will be doing classes at the workshop, but in the meantime I may may have the manuals finished or have Jim finish the manuals by June or July Right, I heard that always the student and the teacher should be Accepted from both sides. Is that correct? Okay. Or you will accept anybody? If if they are willing to listen I am willing to teach so you are like Yeshua, that's wonderful. In some ways, you see, I believe that you should all have an opportunity to learn if you want to learn. Even if your healing energies are not great, learning about these things cannot hurt you at all. And in fact, enhance your understanding of healing as a whole. So therefore, even if you do, aren't a great healer, this can still benefit you. If not, it will just be history of some galactic uh, knowledge. I think, Takur, that is our future. What you just said and what you just starting, that is our future to awake all of us to be healing each other. And that's yeah. it. We can, if we not, whatever level, we should do it. Correct. There are some species that do not have uh, medications uh, uh, they do have medications still but not as many as they used to have because they are they have been attuned and are becoming more attuned to healing each other their energies are stronger and they are more knowledgeable of how to use the energy properly not so long ago a few days ago I had idea for the hukulo group or any group that we will meet regular base and the healers, future healers, awake healer, asleep, meet together and send energies to each other to heal each other. What do you think about this idea? I think if your intentions are pure, healing will happen. And that is a wonderful idea. Any group that comes together to heal one another is a positive, has a positive framework and should succeed thank you i i love this idea i think that is a base for to build the community strong and to teach each other to love each other because we can talk the day long but what yeah. can we do for each other that the group of healing self and each other will be the proof on a regular base to practice to yes. practice love for each yes, other. So that, that is another thing that will happen at the, this particular workshop, is you will get an opportunity to use the Galactic Reiki and see how it feels. 
um, after the attunement, there will be wor uh, where will be practice time where you, after the attunement you will be able to use the energy and I will be able to guide some people in using their hand positions in a greater, more effective way. It is exciting, Takuo. We love you. We love you. I can cry. We love you. Thank you. We Bye. love you too. I love you as well. Thank you very much. And I love the people that I speak to on this planet. I used to not be even involved with uh, the people here, but now I find that there is many good friends here. And when, I, and when first contact comes, there are many of you that I want to meet in person. Any questions? I, any other questions? Otherwise, I will leave because I said that it would be short and sweet, and it will be. I have a question. Oh, come yeah, I have forward. a quick question. Ah, there are a couple questions, yes. Would you like to go first, Angela? Angela, on the screen. No? Go ahead. Hi, you care Barbara here. How you doing? Good, Barbara. Good. I have a question. Um, I was sitting in my front room, and I looked in the kitchen. There was this, like, um, mechanical spider. Yes. On the floor. Yes. Do you know whose toy that was? Um, that belongs to, usually spiders are on Yu-Yi worlds as well, and they, there are spider uh, replicas kind of things mm -hmm. all over the universe because there are spider species and different things. But it sounds like that's a Yu-Yi toy. Okay. Because they are very good at making uh, their, the insects move so very, very well, yes. I have another question. Yes. Have I visited the colonies, especially the healing one? Yes, you have. Okay. But it was about a week and a half ago, about 10 days. Um, and you went to colony two, which is the healing colony. Uh, well, it's a, a diet, exercise, nourishment, that kind of colony. And also six, which is the healing colony also. So uh, I look at colony two now as... A new nourishment, exercise, and all that, but it's actually a healing colony also in a very different way. But it does teach healing and teach how to uh, keep your body in good shape and how to uh, keep things all in line and to heal your body with nutrition and things of that nature, exercise with the information of vitamins and minerals and things of that nature. So. Um, you were in both of those colonies, okay. yes. Well, thank you. You're welcome. A, you have a question? Oh. Is there a question out there? Yes, this is Stephanie. Hi, Tikur. Greetings. <laughs> First, I wanted to thank you. Every chance I, I get, I want to just thank you for the DNA upgrade that you personally gave to me. Um, oh, it was a pleasure, Stephanie. And you are lovely. My question is with regards to atonement, can you explain, I mean, attunement, what that is and the purpose? All right, yes. For, thank you. An attunement, if, you, if any of you have taken Reiki or any, um, any energy classes, they attune you to the energy and the symbols, which means they bring your energy into alignment with that particular teaching with that particular symbolism to make it more powerful. Of course, there's a broad understanding that the symbols that you're using are energetic and they are universal, and that is true. But with the attunement, it brings that into a fine alignment with your person, with your energies. So it's taking that energy and putting it the symbols into you putting those particular symbols into your person so that you can use them better. Is that a better way to say it? I you will take these energetic symbols and 
they will become a part of who you are. And so therefore, when you use them, they are naturally a part of you. Instead of being out here or a little bit less effective because they are just being generally used, they are now a part of your being. Thank you so much. Okay. Yes, another question. I'm curious about, um, will I be able to learn this uh, online and will I be able to? There will be an online class after the workshop because the workshop will be the first time this will be taught. Okay. And then after that, we will probably have other, if there is enough, enough interest, we will have other uh, classes. And would I be able to, after I learn it, uh, teach this to others when I teach the healing class that I'm going to eventually teach? Yes, I have not. I have not done a curriculum for a master teacher class yet. This is going to be just um, Galactic Reiki one and two. So uh, it's there's no master class for this yet, but um, the master class will be how to teach it. And is this good for for my level or any level? If yes. my current level of, of abilities to add, it's this? good for anyone. Yes. Um, if it if it doesn't increase your energy, but it probably will. But if it doesn't do that, at least you will get the information of how many uh, energy uh, energy uh, healings started and exist to this day. Okay. And thank you for your healing. Thank you. I think that is probably it. Take care. I have been... Sorry. Yes? I, oh, I yes. have one and... last question before you go, please. Yes. Um, my, hy my hybrid child, is it born yet? Um, one more. Expecting one. Check. Thank you. Thank you. There are so many in uh, so many uh, hybrid children um, coming these days. It's hard to keep track of them. One moment. Sengi, Kukia, Ah, Shua, Isenvisi, Angela, Maurice, Kodia, Ah, Shuni, Tetira, Papa, Ah. It should be, yes, very shortly, yes, any day now. All right. Yeah, it feels like it. <laughs> yes, any day now. Probably Thank you very she's much. Expecting, expecting it to be Tuesday or Wednesday. Wonderful. Yes, very good. I have a, a question, if possible. Yes. Um, our friend, uh, Winter Moon, Winter over the name winter moon winter moon yes um she got a, a a metal implant in the nose do you know who who placed it and when um it i believe that was from your own government is it of any concern should it be and it was because she is she had a special kind of energy release she's she has energy that is not uh, quite human at times, and therefore they were uh, looking for uh, what her origins were and why she has this energy. Mm -hmm. So is it all right to keep it? It is all right to keep it uh, because they're not going to do anything to her. They're just monitoring her, basically. Is it still a, a functional? Yes, it is. I see. Thank you. They want to see it will remain functional all of her life unless she has it removed because they want to see if there is any changes during adulthood and uh, through the different uh, stages of a life. And like reptilians have many different uh, incredible changes, especially their adolescent period. They have some incredible changes in their life where they change and go through different uh, cycles, and they want to see if any of those show up in her at all. Oh, wonderful. I understand. Thank you. Yes. Any more questions? Yes, there's one here. 
What did you want? Hi. Yes. My daughter, how's she doing, Fenza? Fenza is doing very well. Sengi, kigera Fenza, kuriyeva sandu. Tats shabiets. Tutera. Doing very well. She will give give you more information later. I think that my time has come to leave. So thank you very much for having me, and I, I look forward to speaking to many of you in the near future. Much love. Much love. Much love. Thank, thank you. you. Namaste. Namaste. Hello. Hi, hello. Hey. Welcome back. Hi. Hi. Ooh, that was good. We had a party. <laughs> hello. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Wait till you see the kitchen. <laughs> oh, what did you do to the kitchen? <laughs> from the party. I don't know. I don't know. From the party. Oh, geez. Okay. <laughs> um. Is there any final blessings out there? Or Max, do you have anything to say or any messages? Yeah. Um, I can just repeat the messages um, which we had in the beginning. <coughs> Let me see. So that would be to join the paid webinars. That would be the link. Go and pay there. It's very easy, very simple. You click a couple buttons and pay through PayPal. Just you will notice the 22s.com site. It is the hub which we use to to process the to automatically accept the payments. And you end up in the Facebook group, which is called Hukula Club. And there I post the links. We will post the links for the participation links. Viewing is still free. And join our discussion on Facebook, which will be called Hukula One Free Private. But Hukula One would be sufficient. So Hukula One. Right, and um, I really thank I thank to everybody for participation and everybody for helping. We have I have these days lots of help, wonderful help. Thank you, thank you all. Is there any final uh, prayers out there? There's a blessing here in the room, Angela from from here. Who is that? I can okay. say mantra if 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 I know okay. a mantra, very good, very good one. Okay. Okay. And, uh, then Angela, you can do the mantra, and then Angela can do a blessing. Okay. Here's the mantra. It's very short. Om Burbuva Suvaha. That's Savitur Varenyam Burgo Devasya Dimahi. What Max said was, there is a rich heritage here, and the light runs through it like the water through the mountains and the water is purifying all of the world and the so is the light as it sparkles through the the souls of many becoming the water of the world any more blessings yeah. there's one more here angie <clears throat> okay here she goes a Jusa, Anaia, Jaza Oa, Yataju, Azazia Neditua, Zazi, A Jujua, Naniatia, Yasazua, Isazia Moa, Niatiti, Jajua, Iata de Nuania, Isia, Yana A, Aya Yawania, Isaziwa in the Madua, Yaja, eat in the Niwa A, Ayasa, Yana Nua, Yasaye, Azizi, Wamaya.
life is very fragile, but at the same time very strong and durable. Let this time of change be of a change of heart in durability. Let your life become strong and let your fragility pass away because it is time for strength and honor and understanding. Go with the change, but only those that are with you and fight against that which is not to be. Ooh, very different. Anybody else? That was different. All right, they will do the final. All righty. All right. Cool. That was a blessing for everyone. But they said you don't have to uh, translate it. So, but it was good. Yeah, thank you. I got a question. Yes. Hey, Jim, can we schedule a private session soon? Oh, sure. Send me a uh, message on Skype and I will, uh, uh, I'll remember it. Because I um, I only do scheduling on Tuesday on, evenings. I have you on Facebook. So, why is Skype on Okay, send computer? the message through there then. Because uh, this computer is old, I can't download Skype. Okay. <laughs> All right. All righty, very good. All right. I only schedule on Tuesday night. So if you send me a, a, a request for a session and you don't hear from me like the next day or I only do it when my assistant is here because I cannot read very well because my eyes are very bad close up. So he helps me get everything into line. How, so. how did your eye surgery go? Um, well, I've had five or six different eye surgeries. So... There, I still see out of the left one, so that that one's good. Oh wow! I didn't know it was that bad. Yeah, I don't see anything out of the right eye except for over here on the corner. Can the aliens like actually make it better? The extra yeah, but they'd have to take me to the ship, and they're not allowed to do that. And also, they were told not to touch me. For some reason, I'm not allowed to be touched by anybody, so they won't let them do it. So, right. thank you. You're welcome. Kim says, "Thank you for such a beautiful session. Much love and gratitude for all the energies oh, and, and knowledge that has flowed through today." Oh, wonderful. Well, have a wonderful day, everybody, and we're going to go to lunch, and everybody in the room is going, yay, we're going to lunch. So I will talk to you later. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. All right. Goodbye, everybody. Love you. Bye-bye. Love you. Bye-bye. Love you. Bye-bye.